Check this out. This is the Arcos 7 home tablet. This is a 7 inch Android tablet for 149 US dollars. So already now, right now you have on the market, you have the 5 inch. This is 249 and this is 149. This is the new Arcos that Arcos is launching right here, right now at Cbit. And uh, they borrowed me this for the last couple of days so I could check it out. And uh, I'm the first in the world to have this and I'm really happy. Check this out. It's a huge 7 inch screen. It's 800 times 480 and it can go on Android. It can go on the Google. It can go on the internet. You can browse the internet. You can watch movies. You can even play 720p movies. Um, so check this out. I'm going to show you how fast it is. So here I'm going to show you first uh, the design of this device, which is really, really awesome. As you can see, it has a really nice back. Uh, this is the Arcos design with a cool kickstand that just pulls out like this. And so you can put it on any table you want and just watch movies or browse the internet like this. It also has a micro USB on the side that also turns into a USB host with an adapter. So you can po po plug in a, a keyboard. A USB keyboard you can plug in and then there's a TV output that goes here through the the, the, the mini jack output there's a, it can also go to an, a composite TV and here this is an amazing price they've been able to achieve with the the uh, 149 for for nine seven inch so so you have a five inch that is on the market already and then you have a seven inch right now that's just about to come out they're gonna release it next next uh, week about around there so there is one way that they have been able to get down on this price if I go here on the Olympics you can see that um, the bra web browsing time is going to be usable it's totally usable but you have to consider this is using an ARM9 processor it's the rock chip 2808 okay so it's not uh, an ARM Cortex A8 like on the, this one it's an ARM9 that's the way that they can go to, to such an extremely crazy low price if we go here and we search for the rock chip 2808 you will I'll just so you can find some more information as rock chip uh, like this uh, 28 so the, the keyboard is super usable and you can install some better keyboards over uh, downloading any um, um, APK software from the internet so you can just uh, find some more information about the rock chip 2808 oops I typed 288 I just need the zero here as well so if I search 2808 you can find it here uh, we can search there's all these websites talking about it and so it's totally usable as a as a web browser. It will be amazingly fast considering it's an ARM9 processor. It's still very very usable. And uh, so if you want just basic web browsing, if you're not like, if 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 it's not too important for you to have the absolute fastest full speed web browsing, then this is going to be good enough. And then what you also have, you can play all the DivX movies that you want. Um, you can uh, DivX and, and all kinds of other formats. H.264, MPEG-2 is going to play back on this Rockchip 2808 based device. And uh, here I'm going to try and show you this is a DivX movie. Uh, so of course you need to get legal DivX movies from the internet. And it's just going to look awesome. Uh, it's just going to be awesome to play this this huge size it's it's kind of big of course oops sorry it's kind of big of course uh, but it fits in big pockets or you can have it um, it's not gonna be too heavy you can put it in a bag or uh, you can put it in a jacket pocket if you like to have something like this in a jacket pocket you have it right here but most importantly this is much cooler than than a, a portable DVD player or anything like that because this is real digital files and it has built-in Wi-Fi so you go on the Android and you can install all kinds of other applications right here that you can add to the Android um, you have uh, three uh, uh, home screens then they've added this um, uh, they've added this uh, Explorer file Explorer so you can add even more applications if you want if you you want to add some uh, uh, let's go and add the, the, the last FM application for example you just click here you click install and it's gonna install last FM 
and here, and then we can open, and then it's just gonna ask to log in, and you've got the full last last FM right here on on this device. Uh, you can also have um, Frame, for example, which is um, like some kind of Skype, uh, like Skype and worse of IP, and that's gonna work as well because it has a built-in microphone and it has. Uh, dual speakers, it has really good, nice speakers and then you have the audio player as well uh, so you can play some music uh, if, if that's just what you want you can just play some music and it has it shows um, it shows uh, the album cover and stuff like that so it's really basic and it even plays, continues to play while you, you're back and you're doing so you can multitask, huh? this is not like the, the iPhone or anything like that so I'm going to go back here and I can stop it. And then you can uh, you can install some task managers. If you want to manage, there's 128 megabytes of RAM on here. If you want to manage what you've got running and stuff like that, so you can kill, you can stop the frame application, and then I'll stop the last FM, then I free up some RAM memory, then it gets speedy as well. Uh, it gets speedy again. And then you can close YouTube as well, because YouTube is running in the background. And, and then it just gets faster and faster, and it gets more and more usable. So I can go back here to Google, I'm going to go and I'm going to open... Um, another w website just so you can check it out in gadget uh, dot com it's it's really usable, usable keyboard I like this keyboard it's really big uh, so you can tack 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 it's pretty f fast to, to, to get onto the stuff but of course you have to consider this is Arcos going into the, the cheap the cheap market uh, and if you want to have some tilt, you will have to get some kind of um, software-based tilt because it doesn't have a built-in accelerometer. You know, they, they, they're cutting the cost. They're getting the price down. And who needs an accelerometer? I mean, if you got such a big big thing like this, of course, it'd be cool to have some applications like that if you want to have uh, like an e-reader, for example. Uh, but that might be included in Aldico. I'm not totally sure. I probably have Aldico somewhere in here. So maybe I can look around. I can try to install the Aldico. If I have it, um, where do I have Aldico? Aldico is here, and I'm pretty sure it's here. So I can just, well, if you know where to find applications, you just find them on the internet. Somebody might hack uh, the Google Marketplace onto this pretty soon. We'll figure out as soon as it comes out. Um, you can move, copy, delete files with this software. Uh, so you can just copy the files over using USB from your computer. You copy them over and you have all this stuff going on right here. So thanks for watching this video. Um, this is the Arco 7 home tablet. Uh, super good value Android tablet right here. If you think the iPad is, is good, this is three times cheaper and it's good as well. So there you have it. This is what Android is able to provide to the market. Cheaper tablets, really large 800 times 480 screen, um, 7 inch screen, and uh, Arcos is still gonna do, they're still gonna do some faster ones. They're gonna do uh, OMAP 3 again, they're gonna do OMAP 4, they're gonna do all kinds of different sizes. That's what they told me. So, this is awesome, of course, it's super awesome. And if you really want fast uh, processing and 246 megabyte RAM, this is, of course, super cool. It's 249. And if you want uh, just some basic stuff, you have this one is 149 US dollars so have fun with that and uh, thanks for watching this video